are you? <laughs> God damn it, what is this thing? Asher, I smell Asher, you, you, no, it's good, it's good, no, it's me, Wait, did this nightmare fuel used to be human? I wonder. Eat Yes, yes, you can say the word Azure. I'm real proud. Look, you a sympathetic remnant of whatever you used to be. I don't have time to deal with you right now. Go drool over someone else's grimoire, yeah? Mine! Oh, damn. It's worth a try. Yeah, but unfortunately it didn't work, so we gotta fight now. It's Ragna versus the weird... This weird thing, Arakune, that it's named. The will bait is turning. Rebel 1, action! Right, let's do it. Oh, shoot. Damn, this thing can this thing can appear pretty much anywhere. Yeah, be careful. And I'm cursed. That's not good. There we go. Now you're finished. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We've wasted enough time on you, old face. Now, let's put you out of your misery. What the? That's enough. Don't you dare lay another finger on him. Huh, what's she doing here? Hey. I'm the one who got jumped here. Why the hell are you telling me to lay off? He suffered enough. Please let him go. Or else. Heads up! Uh oh. Are you crazy? Let go of me, you crazy bitch! Stop! I beg of you! Look, he's confused right now. He doesn't mean to hurt anyone. Have you gone full retard? He just attacked you! Right. Yes, but still. <laughs> I can't let you pursue him. Period. I'm sorry. I don't like resorting to violence, but I need to buy him some time. Oh, well, in that case, don't worry. Yeah, sorry, don't cut it. It's the best I can do. How does she know this creature? Well, anyways, we have to fight Lychee now. Yeah, but seriously. Who was her? Who was Arakane? And how does she the know him? Rebel one, action! All right, let's do this. Well, you got Lakey. Yeah, that wasn't hard. gasping about you 
Have the Azure? If you know enough to ask, then you don't gotta. Ragna looks down at his right hand, the strange gauntlet, the red gem set atop it, the Azure Grimoire, blaze blue. Grimoires don't take the form of books, despite what the term might suggest. The Azure Grimoire is no exception. As a matter of fact, it has no set form. It exists as a gauntlet merely because Ragna has purposed it thus. Lychee leans in to take a closer look at Ragna's right arm. It's obscured by a black film or haze. Blaze Blue, said to be one of the original Grimoires, and the strongest of them all. I didn't think it really existed, but seeing is definitely believing. So, what now? You gonna try and eat it like your sludgy pal from earlier? Eat it? Heavens no! But perhaps I could just wear it, like you do. Good luck. I wouldn't recommend it. Sure, it comes in handy now and then, but it's got this bad habit of devouring human souls if you stick around anyone too long. As a fashion accessory, it sucks. But if I had it, perhaps it could grant me my wish. Wish, huh? Yes. I... I haven't introduced myself. I'm Lai Chi Fei Ling. I run a little clinic in Orient Town. A doctor just tried to kick my ass? Okay. Yeah, she did. That being you saw earlier is known as Arachne. He was a colleague of mine in happier days. Okay, so that's how she knows him. No time lately, I'm guessing. I'm sorry for attacking you before. I... I couldn't let you just kill him in some sewer like a rat. <sighs> Ragna sheets his sword and surveys the area. The hungry blob seems to have slith slithered away. At least he doesn't have to feel the thing's eyes peering at it from the shadows anymore. He was a scholar, driven to the extreme. It's that passion that reduced him to what he is now. You see, he got too close to the boundary. It's hard to define the boundary, but the closest comparison would be the idea of a universe parallel to our own. Our world cannot intersect with it. At least, it's not intended to. The boundary is a place of infinite information, infinite memories, dating back to the beginning of time. Some think it's the realm of the gods themselves. We should have left well enough alone, but humans just can't help themselves. Arachne strayed too close, lingered too long. The Seether burned his mind and his humanity away. You... well, you saw the results yourself. It's pretty damn extreme, even for Seether poisoning. He instinctively seeks out sources of energy to devour them. The Azure Grimoire on your arm is immensely powerful. It's an irresistible beacon to him. So, your crazy ass work buddy has a boner for my gauntlet. Friggin' great. Well, if you want to put it like that. Ragna shakes his head and sighs. It is then he notices Lychee's forlorn smile. Now it all makes sense. That wish you were talking about. Yes. I'd wish him back to the man he was. I hate to be the one to say it, but he's way too far gone for that. He's so contaminated by Seether, he should have died a while ago. You should have let me put him down. What a bit of kindness. No! I haven't lost hope! There has to be something I can do! You've messed around with the boundary too. What the hell's wrong with you guys? I had to try and save him. Forget it. Not my problem. You and your monster boyfriend do whatever the hell you want. Just leave me and everyone else out of it. Ragna doesn't have time to deal with Lychee's misfortunes. He starts to walk off. Thank you. For listening, I mean. You're nothing like the stories make you out to be. Oh yeah? How huge of an asshole am I, supposedly? <laughs> um, pretty enormous. Is that so? Hell, let him talk. I don't care. See you around. 
And hey, if I see your friend, I'll run the other way. Cool? Yes. Thank you so much. And take care. Ragna pushes his way through the trash in his path, never seeing Lychee smile. He feels troubled. Part of it's the sewer stench and the seat they're all around him. But part of it is Lychee's story. Alrighty, we've reached the end of this part, so I will see you guys in the next one.